Hello friends, this video on crop production and management part 8 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now we are going to talk about the next practice that is sowing. So now the soil is prepared. So that means now it is something like now you have already prepared for your exams. So now you are all set to appear for the exam. So that is the situation now. That is the field, field is all uh, prepared. So the soil preparation is done. Soil is all ready for the plants to get cultivated. So the next step is going to be sowing. That means now you have to put seeds on the soil. Because from seeds only plants will grow, right? So this step is called sowing. So what is sowing? Sowing is the scattering of seeds on the earth after soil is prepared for cultivation. Now once the soil is prepared, then seeds need to be scattered because from these seeds only plants will grow. So it is something like you have prepared for your exam. So you are all prepared. So you have reached the examination center. You are sitting in the examination hall. But question paper needs to be given to you only then you will be able to answer so your preparation is not going to help you pass in exams if you are not given the question paper and the answer sheet so the, in a very similar way for plants to grow we need to provide the seeds so the sowing is that step where seeds are being scattered on the soil so it is the most important part because uh, uh, the seeds actually decide what kind of plants will come up and if good quality plants come up then the productivity will be more if bad quality plants come up then the productivity will be bad so plants can't grow without this without the seeds so selection of seeds and scattering of seeds both are equally important and they both form the part of sowing so in sowing what we will talk about is you would have seen seeds right the small 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 seeds are available you can also purchase uh, them from the market so when you have the soil ready you can just put them on the soil and then gradually over a period of time when you water them properly germination of seed takes place and a small plant tends to grow from that seed. So that is this process of scattering seeds after soil preparation is called sowing. So now some of the points which you need to remember while sowing that means while scattering seeds there are some points which are very very important to be remembered. First is good quality seeds should be used for sowing because as I said the type of seeds which you provide is the type of plant that you will get out of it. So if you provide bad quality seeds so you will get bad plants later. If you give good quality seeds then you, you will get good quality plants later so in a very similar way for example the way you perform in your exam if you write well in your exam you will get good marks if you write if you do not write well you are not going to get good marks that, that's how it is so input the way the input is the way the output will be now the question is what do we mean by good quality seeds how which seeds are defined as good quality seeds so how, and moreover, how do we know that which seed is of good quality and which seed is of bad quality? So these two questions are there in our little friend's mind. So let us first try to understand what kind of seeds are said to be good quality seeds. Okay, so some of the qualities which define a good quality seeds are it should be clean, it should be healthy, it should have high yielding capacity high yield capacity so if the seeds satisfy the following conditions we can categorize them as good quality seeds they should be clean they should not have dirt or insects or pests they should be healthy they should not be diseased and they should have high yield capacity that means they should be capable of giving good crop yield now the question is how do i know if the seed is going to give good crop yield it is just, just a small seed just by looking at the seed how do i know how is it going to be now try to compare it with you know, some real life example for example when do we say how do we define a good quality student if i tell you if you have to define a good quality student so how do you define them a student who is neat and clean comes in comes well dressed neat and clean uniform clean shoes a student who is healthy he doesn't fall ill very often and he is not weak so he is strong and stout and healthy 
and performance wise also he is good he performs well in the class behavior wise also he is good so that is how we define good quality student so in a very similar way we define a good quality seed but the question is how do we know which is a good quality seed and which is a bad quality seed for example in a class how do you know that which student has better performance and which student has bad performance by looking at their scores correct that whoever scores well is uh, performing better and whoever scores less is not performing good. So that's how we define who is better and who is not. So in a very similar way, we can determine which seed is of good quality and which seed is of bad quality. So for that purpose, what do we do? You take a bowl, put some water into the bowl. Now if you want, you can try it out at your home. So all you need is um, a handful of seeds. So from where you get the seeds, maybe you can find the rice seeds or uh, the wheat seeds or any, any seeds, any seeds of any plant. So just take a handful of seeds, you take a ball of ball and put some water into the ball and now you put some seeds into the same ball. So right now, for example, I have taken, let us suppose the wheat seeds. So you just take the seeds and you put it into the bowl which contains water. After a couple of seconds, what will you see? Some seeds start to flow on, float on the water, whereas some other seeds are settled at the bottom. In fact, you will see that most of the seeds are settled at the bottom, while some of the seeds being lighter, they are floating on the surface of water. Now, why do objects float? Now, objects float only when they are very light. So when they are light, they float. When they are heavy, they settle down. It is something like a, a heavy, a, a fat person cannot run that much. So a fat person will just sit and relax. Similarly here also, the heavier seeds will just sit and relax at the bottom. Whereas the lighter seeds, they will tend to jump. They will come to the surface. So now from this, how do you distinguish? So these seeds which are lighter. Why are they lighter? Because the seeds are basically hollow. So there is nothing inside the seed. So that means these hollow lighter seeds are nothing but the damaged seeds. So these are not the seeds of good quality. Whereas the seeds which settle at the bottom, they are good quality seeds. So this is how you can determine whether the seeds are of good quality or not. So now if you use the damaged seeds, what will happen? Now the seeds doesn't really have anything inside. So normally any seed should contain the seed leaves inside. It should have the radical, the primule. Now I am not going to talk about the seed structure now. You will study that in your higher classes. So basically all the structures of the seed should be present in a proper way inside it. Only then it will be able to give rise to a proper plant. But in case of a damaged seed, the, uh, inside the seed nothing is there. That is why it is hollow. That is why it is lighter and it floats on water. So using these damaged seeds will not give us good plants. So this is how we can distinguish between healthy seeds and damaged seeds. So we need to ensure that for sowing only good quality seeds are being used because only then we will be able to get good quality plants and therefore a better crop yield. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.